Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I am once again running late and much later than yesterday. <laughs> I mean, much later. Um, so I am definitely going to be late today. Um, but I do have a few thoughts this morning that I don't want to forget about. So I'm going to do it while I'm driving. I like to be honest, I don't mind these sort of little car vlogs. It's a little fun. It gets me kind of gets my head going. Yeah, it's just it's kind of enjoyable kind of talking well to myself, to you guys, to whoever was watching, um, for the time being. Um, it's enjoyable, but I kind of want to have a morning where I can just lounge around and talk to you guys, but that won't happen until the day off because I do not plan well, apparently, from day to day. Oh, uh, I watched a video this morning, uh, number one reason why I'm late, um, from Jacksepticeye talking about some changes, uh, in YouTube. Pretty much things that, like, would affect smaller vlogs like me that don't have a lot of viewers and, well, no subscribers right now. It's like, it's, well, it's going to affect me in the future, I should say if I if I get subscribers because he was talking about how people who have subscribers have a lot of subscribers but they don't uh they're losing they're losing all their subscribe well not all their subscribers excuse me some of them because YouTube is going through it's like oh that person's not watching them anymore I'm going to delete it it's like I understand where that is coming from where it's just like you want to like keep it updated but at the same time he made a good Jack made a good point of saying that it's going to be harder for people with good content to have a following or people who upload every day or have a like a consistent schedule. It YouTube made people like Jack who have a consistent episode. I mean, God, he makes two videos every single day. He posts it every single day. If this had happened when he was a younger channel, I don't know if he would have succeeded. I mean, it was helpful that PewDiePie gave him a shout out, which was awesome. But he, he is one of those consistent people. I mean, he's an excellent YouTuber. He's very entertaining. And I hope to one day be that entertaining entertaining or whatever it is if this just turns out to be for me so be it but it's it's kind of like a, it's a little disappointed because I do want people to watch my content I do want people to enjoy I don't have to be number one I don't have to have seven million subscribers hell three would <laughs> make my day um but yeah it's it's going to be harder. It, I can't, I don't want to fall prey to the clickbaitiness of things. And that, that's something that could easily be done. Um, and that's just not who I am. I, I love kind of finding those nooks and crannies of videos that like aren't necessarily possible popular but are really good content and are really funny and or really um educational or something like that where it's just kind of like they don't have a lot of subscribers yet but I could see them going somewhere because they're consistent but with the new way that YouTube is going I don't know if that's going to be possible uh I I hope that this is going to change. I don't know if it is. I feel like I've come into YouTube at a really weird time, but you know, it is what it is, and I'm just going to keep on going. Like I said, I'm going to see where this takes me. Uh, I really enjoy watching vloggers like Julian Solomita. Uh, you might know him as uh, Jenna Marble's boyfriend. Yeah, he, he's just a really cool guy. I like his style. That's why I put so many time lapses in. I like him. I like Casey Neistat. Uh, he recently ended his vlogs because he said he wasn't feeling pushed enough. He wasn't being creative enough, which is understandable because he got into a rhythm and he got a lot of views off of it. And he was like, okay, he said he could settle, but he didn't. And I really admire him for that. And I hope that I won't be that way either because I can get into a rhythm very easily. And 
and that's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm moving to Long Beach. I'm breaking up the monotony of my day to day. I'm creating a better new environment for me and I'm super excited about it. And that's to me what YouTube is about, is creating that new and exciting environment. Um, not just clickbait, not just the next big thing, not, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, I can't. Not to me, me, I guess. Like, I want to create, I want to create. I want to be, a, like, I mean, there's nothing super original about somebody's day-to-day -day life anymore but it's mine it's it's unique to mine it's my point of view and nobody else can tell it but me and I feel like I have a pretty well-rounded point of view but then again I am a 20-something white woman from the middle class and I've tried to make myself as well-rounded as possible my parents did very well with me on that and uh, I feel like I, I know of the world pretty well. I work really hard. But going back, like I said, nobody else can talk about my life like I can. And uh, I think it's a, an original way for me to express myself. I hope to be able to write maybe stories, books, or even, I don't know, just, I, I like writing fiction, I, I think it's really fun, I think that could be another step, or writing a TV show, dude, the cheese shop, like, nuggets of gold in that shop, like, these people I work with, I love them to death, but holy crap, they are characters, I, like, I'm going to miss everybody a lot, I need to start writing things down, so that I don't forget them, and I can base stuff off of them because everybody has just yeah there's nothing nothing like it I've ever been a part of so it's it's pretty cool life is good I'm getting my thoughts out in the open really works so I'm just gonna end it here so today has been interesting to say the least um so i was kind of rushing to mail off this letter to my landlord and i went to the bank because i had to get my check and i was kind of like in my head and then the um cashier or what's the name banker i don't know but the guy who was at the counter um he could i think he could see that i was kind of flustered a little bit and he like all he did was mention my um button and he's like oh is your family English or are you English and I was like oh half my family is and I made up like I didn't make up I mean it's partially true but I just was in my head and it's one of those situations where you just kind of get a little flustered and you don't know what to say and also he was really cute and really nice um but yeah it was it was just nice. It was nice talking to him. He wants to go to England. We were talking about that and he has connections over there. It was just really a nice conversation, which was great. My phone wasn't working and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to vlog during my break. Um, and then I realized as I got to the post office, I couldn't remember my landlord's address. I mean, I've written it down on multiple envelopes since I lived there, but you know, I couldn't remember it for the life of me. So I was like praying that my phone would turn on because my phone wasn't turning on and the address is in here and then it turned on and it's been a good day so I don't know what it is but every time I get off of work and get into my car my energy just drops and I wish I had more energy to do more after work because like I feel good while I'm there and then as soon as like I stop like you stop something in motion Ooh, I crash pretty hard um, but yeah I'm at the gro at the grocery store right now and I'm about to go pick up some things I need for the rest of the week I didn't realize this um, but I have Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday off somehow I got four days off in a row 
which is unheard of. I mean, well, when I was like working on the sh on the last show, I was uh, I had four days off, but like now that I'm completely free, they have me off four days. It's kind of nuts. I mean, I'm happy about it. I'll get to catch up. I'll be able to do laundry. I'll be able to do this more thoroughly. And do by doing this, I get to get out of the house a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. But I'm going to go grab some groceries now. <music> that I forgot to close out the video so here we are and I finished getting my groceries I came home made myself a frozen pizza and a little bit of ice cream since it's my Friday night it's pretty laid back as well in the last couple of nights have you've seen have been really laid back pretty much the same thing tonight I'm gonna edit and uh, finish it tonight and then upload tomorrow morning so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you like my video, please hit the like button below. And if you want to see more from me, please hit the subscribe button. That'd be amazing, you guys. And I love you all and keep on keeping on.